Hi class, welcome to an interdis interdisciplinary approach to ethical leadership. My name is Dr. Morton. I will be teaching this section of the course. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick introduction to both myself and my background and the course. So uh, again, my name is Dr. Wendy Morton. I have a um, Bachelor of Arts in History and a minor in Political Science. I have a Master's in Leadership. I have a PhD in Public Policy and Public Administration, and the focus of my PhD research was Public Management and Leadership. Um, so I'm well versed in leadership and leadership theory. I have experience in state government and um, in education and in the private sector. I have over 25 years experience in state government. So I have a lot of experience and my um, graduate education focused on leadership. I want to introduce you a little bit to this course. This course can be just a little bit different than maybe what you're used to. And I know I will have a lot of first time graduate students in this course. So let me give you a quick rundown. This is a dynamic course. It's not your typical course design. It's set up like a leadership conference. Um, and you're going to be doing both individual and task force group work. Um, I will assign you to a task force in week two, and I will also assign you a leadership style to uh, model throughout your interaction with your task force. Um, throughout the task force, you're going to work on developing an emergency plan for a natural disaster. And so I want to give you a little bit of a background on that. You need to be very um, engaged in this course, course, and you need to engage early in each week to really be successful. Um, your task force will need to have a leader assigned, and I don't, I don't care if um, you rotate leadership roles through throughout the task force work, but one person each week needs to be assigned the leader, and uh, on the week that you have task of four, task force assignments do, the leader will need to be the person that submits um, any required assignments to the appropriate Dropbox. So um, have a leader assigned in your task force. You also need to balance participation. So I know we're all busy, um, but that doesn't mean that you're, you're um, going to be able to shirk your, your task force work. It's a very important that we have balanced participation. I also want to note that uh, it's very important at the graduate level that you have a high standard um, of writing and you need to be well versed in APA. Your assignments except for dis discussion posts can be first person. Um, things like your personal ethical code or self-appraisal or a reflection, those are appropriate in the first person. Everything else needs to be written in the third person active voice. The emergency plan should be an emergency plan, not a research paper. You're writing a sample emergency plan for a natural disaster. Uh, so I wanna warn you, week five is gonna have a lot of work. If possible, try to work ahead a little. Um, if you have questions, you need to reach out. Don't don't hesitate to reach out. This is a, a little different format for the for a course, and it's eight week graduate course, so it can be a little bit overwhelming. And I'm here to help you out. Um, I look forward to engaging with you in the course, and good luck. Thanks.